Hello there, I'm Black Bright and good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you're watching my video from. Um, you're welcome to subscribe, like and share. And today, um, well yesterday, somebody sent me Miss Kitty's video, you know about all these um, women that are being murdered in Jamaica and she was trying to explain why she doesn't understand why it's happened so i wanted to give my take but i am going to let you listen to the video that was sent to me and then i'm going to make a few comments on it so uh, you don't really have to see it so much as to hear it and i think the volume is of a standard that you'll be able to hear it killing somebody ladies and gentlemen like the fella shop you know you cannot go to shop and buy life. You can't go wholesale. You can't go to a supermarket. And we have a, a situation where our life is of no value. And I'm saying that it seems to me that the women in Jamaica are under siege. Something is psychologically wrong with the men in our country and how they treat with and deal with emotional problems. It seems to me like the men in Jamaica, many of them, and we're not saying all, because you have some nice, clean, good man out there, same way, big up with a nice, clean self, kings, this is not for you. Good, nice, clean, sensible, well-thinking men, this is not for you. So we're not broad brushing and saying all Jamaican men are like this, because that is false. But we're talking about the men, and we're talking about a culture where men are of the belief that they own women some way, somehow, whether because of investment, whether because of, oh, you're dead my long time, or, oh, you can't left me, and you left me, oh, you got dead. I have seen and known of women in Jamaica. The amount of women will get born in Jamaica and get bad treatment, get disrespect, get used and abused. If we're supposed to take them, them emotional distress in hand and treat with it like how the men are treating with it, Jamaica would have no money near. The man them would have dead off. The amount of women will get born, beaten, physical, emotional, spiritual, financial abuse from men. And when you get the bun, you have to just take it. The amount of man who murder have outside children of our next family completely. And as a woman, you just have to take it. Men know all oh, Bellevue you not know, to run over. I've never said just God providence and grace why enough Jamaican woman I stand up to the day. I told enough woman now nah, talk them problem and talk them truth. Sometimes you see some woman at church and get in that spirit. You think that the spirit of God will lick them. And when they remember how much pants they wash and clothes. And how much pit they how much I'll burn them. And at the end of the day, the clothes that she press. After the man go married and the next woman after she twer served 20 years with him already. A lot of women turn to church, turn to Bible. Not because all they want when I turn but for help, ease the problem and ease the pain. Sometimes you see some woman at work them face bell up like W every day. Because of the stress and the strain with them undergoing from men. A lot of women are bearing a lot. Some of them come forward like said, I don't want to bear things. I don't want to bear things. No woman want to bear things too. I will not take it to that level. I will not do that something there. We will not take time and take ourselves and cry. If we lose the Kuwait, we lose the Kuwait. And we just ball it out. Call our friend and talk to our friend. I want to do the song. I want a problem. We can't eat the power for the people that them know to man. Enough is enough, man. No more to women get abused and do the thing that I say if Jamaican women are supposed to take up and do like what the man they might do. No man not got there, sir. People innocent children they take them life like it's nothing. If you know say your heart weak, leave woman thing alone. Join a church and go out some pamphlet for a corner. And then you hear Jamaican me, oh I love women, love women as a what? In as a what? The most of women will get born day in, day out. Them get born, go get born, come. The ill treatment, right? The disrespect, the embarrassment. Sometimes me there with a like good clean man, him take out some grass, my pan, yo. You have to say, no, sir, woman, do you want to eat me, sir? And me take a red paper, a what problem? And you just have to hold them disrespect, and you have to just hold it and know, say, yo, I just part of life, and you got through the same way. What is it? What is it, sir? Right? Me know that we not had a nation man yet. But me tell you, say, Jamaican man, who would have wicked like Am Barabbas? Lie like Beelzebub. And when you get a disrespect, you just have to hold that and hold it can and know, say, John was star. Yeah. Some woman either go find the next man, you have some woman to hold them hurt. Not even man, them no one. Them never gonna look, no, them never gonna look the next. Oh, yeah. Them focus on them children. 
strength or focus on their jobs. It is full time this has to stop. This culture of if a woman wants to move on, if a woman doesn't want to anymore, you want to take her life. Right? And the truth be told, yes, on the one hand, there are men who invest, and I'm still standing by this. There is no rationale or reason to kill anybody and take anybody's life. You cannot blow breath, so it's not your duty to take anybody's life. Okay? But the truth be told, Andrika, you have enough of them money, they're not doing nothing at all. They're not contributing nothing at all. They broke her hungry like church mouth and naked. They're not giving the woman them nothing at all. Other than they are evil, Lucifer, Satan, agent. Protect, set from people, good, clean, girl, picnic. How much money use woman every day? Rob away, borrow money. Eh? And do the things them. I would not walk and kill nobody. So what's up? I was so, I was a problem. I'm not telling you, I feel like I want a late night show car. I want to have some deviant, some different something. Yeah, me, me, trust me. To all my feel, to all my feel, me, I tell you, to all my feel. To all my feel. To all my feel. The people and family, the year just start. Eat the woman, just grab it, the woman, leave. The lady, leave, the lady, leave. Good God. The lady, gone. And you still insist. You wouldn't even watch the TV and see what other people are doing. I said, John Star, you know, say, eh, John Star, yeah. But you know, man, kill that vibes of your star. I'm going to depend that. This culture of a woman cannot leave a man. Why? And yet, when a man wants to leave us, on a run us at all like loot up on a scooter. No question, no ask, nobody, no business. You left woman with pity, left woman with a pity in her belly. Gone. Gone. Nobody no no shot on down there, dance, no slot on the anything, commit many feet. I want a problem, I want a problem. When do you supposed to pull it around over? If woman, so if Jamaican women supposed to start talk the things them and talk the earth and the disrespect and the desertion, the abandonment, what them go through. I don't know, one generation or two generation. The Jamaican man, them, no man, on the, no man, some African man. I want, I want to sign a contract with um, Satan. I want, I want to keep it so. And then when people talk about single, you know, you have some, a set of people, you have a cohort of persons who make it look like being single is the worst thing on planet Earth. And sometimes, me tell you, you're alone, but you're not lonely. And sometimes single is the best option. You're free from STD, STI. You have your peace of mind. Nobody now bother you. Nobody now bad you up. Come on, man. Everybody are big people. Why, 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 why for do I stop here? And every day. And then sometimes the people that were killed, it just hurt me. It just hurt me. Only now by plane, only now by building, only now by yacht. And even when you're by plane, I yacht and boat. My life is mine. If a woman decides she no longer wants to be with you, if a man decides she no, no longer want to be with you, God, sir, big up your nice clean self. Go with God. Amen. Bye. Why do we have to go through this all the time and rob families of their daughters, their nieces, their mothers? You're robbing children of their mothers? And for what? And, and you go, okay, for what? At the end of the day, what is the reasoning? For what? For what? Nothing sensible. If a girl wanna leave your man, you go find a next girl. How much other woman they about? If a man wanna leave him free to leave me, me a pack you and send you go home. Bye. Because if a man show me, send me like me, me eat everything about him and him shadow me eat. So I'm eat him. him. Me eat, Andrika, me will love you. Five past two. And seven past two, me eat nine and ten. You never know. Come from me, no say you don't like me, you into me. Me not like you neither, sir. I gonna you blow breath. When you look at the Ten Commandments, you know, you need to depend it to say, you're happy there with you to enter heaven. Oh, we kill and lie like Jamaican man and do the things them. You have some women who have some stories, some experiences. If you hear them, you cry tears. Enough is enough. And to me, it's almost as if 
There is like a competition to see who can do it worse and who can do it more gruesome and you know who can who can do it too. Ladies, let me warn you. When you see the red flags, when you see the lights flashing, do not take it lightly. Stop telling life for the man them. If you have a man in the treat you good, you might treat you good. But any man will take step with you, it get physical, it get emotional abuse. Extricate yourself from the situation as quickly as you possibly can because your life may depend on it. Anytime a man have a table, oh, if you left, me will kill you. There is nothing funny about that in the slightest. Take those words, take my granddaughter said, take sleep, my pet. Well, first let me apologize for my glasses. It's because I have an infected eye and I did think about, you know, should I try and, um, Look at the screen without any um, glasses on, but I can't put my contact lenses on, so I won't be able to read my notes. So I've just decided to go with the dark glasses. So forgive me for that. Um, yeah, that is Miss Kitty. Um, and she, it looks like she runs a radio show and she is so upset about the number of women being killed in Jamaica. And I will say there's two sides of every story. And remember, I did a video about um, the returnees um, getting killed. I'm not saying this is a similar scenario, but I said it could be. The other day I was sent a video and this woman, whether she was joking or not, she called in her man and she said to him, you know, sir, me no want you. And him so what? No, first he had another woman, right? He had another woman and he said he was going off with the other woman or something. Anyway, um, she called him into the room and she said, me no want you again. And him so what? She said, no, me no want you again. Your dick too small. Me have a man with a bigger dick who can satisfy me. Now, the thing is, is that if you say something like that, you know, it's bound to cause a problem. And I'm not saying that every woman who's chopped up is going to be insulting to the man. I'm not saying that because some people, we don't know what the circumstances are. But, I'm, you know, I've seen so many videos where women are, the way they're talking to men when they want to move on. Some of them, they've already got a man. And they're throwing it in the man's face. You know, and sometimes, you know, they're talking about, you know, Miss Kitty was saying, you know, you, you, you should just get up and go. The man should just get up and go. But I think what sometimes happens is that they've got into a relationship where, I'm just saying, I'm hypothesizing here, they've got into a relationship where they may not be compatible. At one point, they could have been compatible. And then down the line, they find it's difficult to get on with each other. They might have taken some each other for granted. They may um, have totally different interests. And people have can make mistakes. It could be as simple as that. You might you might have fallen in love with somebody. Down the line, you realize that you're non-compatible. And you decide after thinking about it, you know what? This isn't working. I still like the person, but it's not working. That doesn't mean that you have to um, run down and disrespect the person who you don't want anymore. That's not necessary. And I think, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying it's happening in all situations, but I've heard how Jamaican women talk to their men and how they disrespect them. That woman that the other day who said she have a man with a bigger dick, she was, I think she was joking because she was videotaping it to get his reaction. And he just walked out. But not everybody has got that emotional resilience and the emotional intelligence just to walk out. He walked out and said, you know, if that's what you want, go on. But then you have these men who don't have that, 
like I said, the emotional intelligence, they feel insecure, they feel um, their pride has been hurt, they feel disrespected, and they feel that woman is trying to get something over on them, and then they just feel the only wet thing to resolve it is to kill her get her out of the way. They can't handle it. They haven't got the wherewithal or the strength or the self-discipline to deal with it in a sensible way. And like I said, you know, apparently Jamaica holds the world's highest, second highest rate of female homicides. Asia, and Jamaica is one island, you know, and Asia leads with almost 200,000 women killed by a partner or a family member. Now we know uh, uh, there's a lot of honor-based violence in, in Asia, you know, where they force their young women to marry someone to keep honor to the family. And if that woman doesn't like the man that they betrothed her to, they kill her. And that is a part of their culture. You need to obey. It doesn't matter what that man's doing to you. It doesn't matter if he's abusing you or what. The whole family gang up on that one woman and set out to kill her. And that is why there's so much women. It's on a base violence a lot of the time. But in Jamaica, it's not on a base violence. It's somebody um, doing something to their pride. You know, you disrespect me. You know? Or the thing, but, but you know what I mean? It's all of that. And so I don't, you know, women need to curb their tongue. You know, like what Miss Kitty was saying, you know, a lot of us have been abused physically, financially, emotionally, psychologically. We stay strong. A lot of, like she was saying, a lot of men have left their women with pregnant, with children, treating them like crap, walking in and demanding and expecting. And she and she's not supposed to say anything. And when they keep doing it and when they continually disrespect her or don't appreciate her or take her for granted, she's supposed to take it. God forbid if she comes to the realisation that, oh, I've made a mistake. This man is not making me happy. He's not making me happy anymore. I don't want to be with him. I want to go. I want to have my own life. I want an opportunity to be happy. God forbid. It's a big deal. Yet, like Kitty says, if a man finds another woman and he decides, oh, well, look, you know, you're not good enough for me. I don't want you. We find something sweeter. Then go on and you can't say a thing. And like she said, they leave you with kids. They leave you without anything sometimes. I, I was working in an establishment once and um, this man had been married for, I think, 40 years. 40 years. And it was, they were posh. They were quite posh. And they were white. They weren't black. They were white. And his wife would never have thought after 40 years she would have to worry about her husband. But obviously she'd become complacent. She had, um, she, well, I, I can't say obviously because I don't know. But I'm thinking maybe she'd become complacent over the years. She wasn't giving him any attention and she wasn't nurturing him. And some young person in the workplace decided say she's attracted to him and they started having an affair and everybody at work knew they were having an affair next thing you know he leaves the wife and and just goes and not only moves in with the other lady who's I think 10 or 15 years younger than his wife and him but they get married they have a child and that man who left his wife didn't even bat an eyelid Okay, it's because they're well off, she's going to get her maintenance or whatever, whatever she's due. But that's not the point. He doesn't have to account to her. And because he's the man, he can just walk off. I'm not going to say Magalika down, but in, in, in a comparable situation with young black people, where a woman was to do that, 
and to say, look, you know, I've met somebody else. All hell breaks loose. There's, and that is where you find chauvinism comes into place. This is where ego comes into place. This is where pride comes into place. And where men who bully women come into place. Male abusers who feel that you haven't got a say. It's up to me. When I decide to leave you, that is when I go. When I have got a replacement for you, that is when I go. But you haven't got no say in this decision, whether you want me or not. And the women who run up their mouth, like those women I see on these videos, how they talk to men. I mean, that man who, who walked off and said, go on, find your man with your big dick. He didn't know she was filming. Supposedly it turned sour. Supposedly it decides to go out and come back with a, a knife and kill her. And she's there skinning up her teeth. You don't make jokes like that. You don't. T if you want to finish with a man, you don't have to talk about um, another man with a bigger dick. You don't have to talk about how another man can satisfy you. You don't have to put down that man just because you found out that you're incompatible. It's not necessary. At some point, you were both getting on well. At some point, you loved each other. So why now, all of a sudden, you have to be so hostile to each other. And for the man, it resorts to him actually killing her. Not only killing her, just stabbing her in a, in a frenzy, but then chop them up and do all sorts. I didn't read up on that one that um, Miss Kitty was talking about. I just don't like that kind of thing. And I don't even think it's necessary because what the principle is still the same. Like she said, women are under siege. It's not that... Well, women are under siege because technically we're the weaker sex. The only thing we have is our mouths. And sometimes our mouth, they say the, the tongue is sharper than a sword. And sometimes, and those women, some of them Jamaican women, them can, it's almost as though you stab them. It's almost like what they have done to you physically, you have done to them emotionally and psychologically. So the same way them stab you up, that is what some women's mouth is like. They stab them up, poof, juk, 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 juk. And so in that man's mind, he's retaliating from all those stab wounds, those verbal stab wounds. So women have to be, you know, you have to be able to have a dialogue. In whatever way it is, you have to be able to have a dialogue, a respectful dialogue. Because this thing, all it seems to be happening recently. I don't know if these men are taking drugs. I don't know if they're paranoid. I don't know what is causing men to react so swiftly. Or is it just the mentality today? Is it just the way people solve their problems? Even though, you know, and some people, they don't even care. They reach the point where they say, you know what, I'm not even care if I go to prison. So prison is no longer a deterrent. In the UK, they have TV, they have um, all sorts, they have games, they have a library, you can learn, you can do everything. So prison isn't a deterrent. When young women get mad and start insulting these men and then they retaliate. I think the Jamaican prisons are worse than the Britain prisons, from what I understand. And especially when David Cameron went over there and he says, the prisons aren't good enough. We're going to give you so much to make your prisons better. And we don't know what happened with that. It just went silent. But like I said, you know, with Jamaican men, they have their pride. They uh, like to show off, and when a woman is running up her mouth, it makes them feel small, it makes them feel disrespected. And, you know, whereas if they deal with it in a civil manner, they can be friends, they can still support each other, you know? They can go out with each other, you know, and say, what, you know? You know, you know I'm just going down the road, you know, I'm just going out tonight, you know, you, you, you know, you fancy coming out or whatever. It can actually be civil. 
But when you start running up your mouth, either way, and if a man runs his, his mouth up to you, I mean, as from what I see, it seems as though the females are have a bit more intelligence, emotional intelligence. So if a man is running up his mouth to you, you that woman should be able to curtail her tongue. So it doesn't end up like how all these women are being killed. I don't, I, I wouldn't like to think, you know, like I said with the um, video about the returnees, I wouldn't like to think that Jamaican men are just um, merciless and devious and devil-minded. I don't want to think of them in that way. I'd like to um, try to understand it from their viewpoint and think what would make a man react like that, like he's a maniac, because that is maniacal actions. And the only way I can think to rationalise it and to give them a bit of credibility is to say that they can, they've been attacked in such a way that they cannot cope. That's the only way, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to understand why it happens. And there's always a method to everyone's madness. So what else have I got to say? Um, women, when women are saying they are, oh yeah, I've said that incompatibility taken for granted I've said that um, yeah I was, gonna, I was gonna my point is women regardless of how a man gives you bun abuses you whether financially psychologically physically do not lower yourself to that standard do not become undignified if you feel under attack just try to mellow you know my mother always says Honey is better than vinegar. And what she means is, it's better than you, tr you, try, you, you try to use a more civil and polite and calm way to deal with a situation than for it to be bitter and nasty and tasteless. Blessed are the peacemakers. You know what I mean? Oh dear, let me see. Yo. Women are emotionally stronger in a lot of ways. Um, I think people see, see men as in, with physical strength and, and they feel as though they're actually stronger. But actually, men are emo emotionally weaker. Physically stronger, but emotionally weaker. And when you attack them in that way, it's almost as though you're attacking them physically. So you need to be, you know, you need to be aware of that. Yeah, some men, they just don't know how to deal with their frustrations. And that is how they deal with it. And it's not the right way to deal with it. I thought I saw something there. That's not the right way to deal with it. But as far as they see, they see it as the only way to deal with it. And it's such a shame. You know, these women, they look so decent. They look so um, young. And the funny thing is, is that Sometimes you see women that look lovely and then have a moat on them like a sewer. So you just have to be careful. Men, you know, I know some of these women can rile you up. I know they can rile you up. All they have is their mouth because they're afraid of you physically. So that that's the way they feel they can attack you. But don't rise to the bait. Even if you're not afraid of prison. Don't rise to the bait. It's not worth it. Like Miss Kitty says, there are so many women out there. The same way you got that women, woman, you can get another woman. But you can only get another woman by learning what that woman that you have, that is whatever, whatever happened between you and you, the two of you. Learn from it. Maybe she's telling you something. And you can actually learn from what she's saying, even though she's saying it, saying it in anger. 
you can think to yourself, instead of reacting with hostility, think to yourself, is what she's saying true? Has she got any validity? I'm not talking about these women who talk about, you know, whether a man has a bigger dick and all that. That's, that's, that's ruthless and it's not necessary. And those women, to me, they're small minded. They don't have no sense. They're stupid and ignorant and unintelligent. Women who talk like that, they're not intelligent human beings. But all I'm saying is, <clears throat> depending on the situation, in any situation where you have an argument, reflect first and think, is there any truth in what is being said? What can I learn from this? Is it worth going through it? Is it worth trying again? Does she, does she mean what she says or is she just angry? And, you know, you have to try and navigate that. And you can find out just by behaviours. You know what I mean? You don't have to go and get a knife or a gun and chop up and shoot up people. It's, it's, not, it's not the correct way to deal with those kind of situations. So, and women, watch your mouth. If you've gone off your man... You can go off him. Everybody's entitled to go off of somebody if they find out that that person isn't giving them what they want. Everybody's entitled. But that doesn't mean that you have to disrespect somebody. Everyone is somebody's pitney. And you didn't give them any. You didn't raise them. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what they're going through. So st stop it. Just stop being disrespectful and nasty and cheap. And behave with a degree of respect for yourself. And handle the situation. You wouldn't want to know that a child of your, you know, a son, a, is a woman is talking to your son in that manner. And the same way, if you have a daughter, you men, you wouldn't want to know that a man is talking to your daughter in that way. So just ease up a little bit. Try to have a little bit of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence just means thinking before you speak, thinking before you react, trying to, you know, in that moment of pause and in that moment of silence, ask yourself, is there any validity? Do I need to react? Is it worth my time? Is she worth my time? Is he worth my time? Instead of going out on one. And that's all I've got to say. Bye bye. And once again, apologise for the glasses. I've got an infected eye and I can't put my contact lenses in. OK, that's all for now. Bye bye.